hello peeps, Julia Jordan, your favorite real estate agent. We have a little market update. Good news for you. After touching the 8% mark about two weeks ago and everybody fainted for a, a second, we are back to interest rates. We have here for a 30 year conforming right now. So conventional, um, just under 7.1%. We have jumbo loans at 7.5, so all the higher amounts. And then we have a FHA, they are under 7%. We're at 6.919 rates change during the day. This is not a guarantee for you. Of course, my lender partners will have to look at your credit score, saving situation, debt to income ratio, all of that. But that is very, very good news. We have the uh, VA right now, super cheap at 6.685%. That's amazing compared to where we come from. Uh, let's not look back at two years. That was a black swan event that will not come back again. And we have a 15 year, if you wanna agree with a 15 year mortgage for 6.4. So very, very great interest rates. And often in real estate, we see a little bit of an enhancement enhanced market during Labor Day weekend before after right after Labor Day usually we have a little bit more inventory and we also I do not know what it is but the buyers want to buy right after Labor Day it's usually a good two three week period of people buying so if you have um, the thought of maybe wanting to sell interest rates are announced to go up towards the end of the year in four more tiers so it will probably not get much better from here and if you want to sell i have several uh, several sellers tongue breaker that are getting ready to sell and right now is a good time when interest rate is low it enhances the market I mean low okay low uh, low and compare um, it enhances the market buyers are watching the market the more buyers we have the better you as the seller are able to sell of course for buyers the advantage is uh, around Labor Day or right after Labor Day as we are right now um, more sellers put their homes on the market so you have have also more option you just need to know how to write up a good offer if you don't know of course you need to work with someone like me um, the seller pays my commission so the buyer is not charged for that um, directly it is basically rolled into the price um, so you should be represented because we can only help you and a good agent on either side is worth their money I recently had a situation that the uh, buyer wanted to buy a certain house and um, uh, was basically pushed towards um, not being represented. So what happens is the listing agent gets a double dip. There is no benefit for the seller usually um, if the buyer's agent is not involved, but the listing agent pulls everybody to the closing table. I personally do not like that because an uh, unrepresented buyer is an uneducated buyer and when they get their information from the listing agent naturally, they will think that they are at a disadvantage, what they usually are. They should be represented so that they can ask their own agent, is this a good price? Is this, when you look at the comparable sales, is it a good offer price? Um, you find certain things in inspection, is it of big concern or can we just move on or should we ask for a XYZ amount? of discount for all of those things you need to have someone in your corner and naturally the same on the seller side I do not understand how people feel confident of selling for sale by owner on Zillow or so I mean you can do it the good news is you will never know how much money you left on the table and you will feel super accomplished that you got it done after a lot of heartbreak but in this market it is very very choppy waters it's already hard for most of us agents to sell homes to buy homes because it is so different than the last two years I do not understand how anyone wants to encounter that by themselves and basically playing around with their biggest asset on the buying side but also on the selling side either direction you should not want to um, risk to be uh, not well represented or even uh, worst case not represented at all um, I also recently had a situation um, in my closer circle uh, a friend decided to list with another agent. What I do believe is that the agent heavily discounts her services. 
I'm usually not a discount agent. We had emergencies where I did decide on throwing a little bit in, but usually I work 100%, I get paid 100%, very simple um, system, and I make my clients win. So the other agent listed a property and then what happens when the property doesn't move? And I looked at the listing and I do understand why it is not selling. It's For me, it is totally obvious two big mistakes are made there and the client would reach out to me and ask me for advice. And I have to say, you are represented by the agent that you picked. Um, once you are terminated or it's expired or whatever, I and you decide for me, we can definitely talk about it. But after you picked a discount agent, don't come to me to get uh, champagne advice. I cannot interfere with that uh, listing and I will not get my hands dirty on interfering on anyone's listing and starting to to mix <laughs> to mix in the dough there. You you get what you paid for, uh, you're not satisfied, maybe that's <laughs> what you what you paid for. And if you want better service, there are many good agents out there. I hope I am one of them. And um, you you will pay for our service, but we keep you safe and we actually do what we get paid for if the call is selling your listing I will do my everything to uh, sell your listing for top dollar or if the call is to help you buy I will do everything to make you successful there and it's very much case to case basis we cannot say the market is so the market is like this the market is like that we have to look at every property right now it's very choppy like I said we have certain areas, houses are selling out of coming soon status, what only agents can see. Houses are selling first day, second day, fourth day, something like that, what I consider very quick, usually first weekend. And then we have other areas that are not moving. And even after several um, times lowering the price, it is still not moving, what means the buyers in that uh, area and in that pricing bracket completely fell away. They all fainted over the high interest rate and they lost confidence. And when those agents are represented by a top agent, the agent will call and say, hey, it's a great interest rate. Let's not let's not lose our strength right now, our hope. Let's go in with everything we have right now. It's very good. I cannot promise you where it will be next week or the week after. But while interest rates are low, let's be out there. Let's find the house. Let's lock it in for you. Um, and let's find you the dream house. Let's not lose a dream over 1% interest rate or so. Okay. You can always refi later. You can never change the home price. So if you get a, ho uh, if you get a house right now for a good price, you should grab it and run and then make your peace with refinancing later over a 30 year a term or 15 year term that is still cheaper as if you wait until the market is hotter interest rate might be lower and then you pay more for the house and you get right away the lower interest rate i personally believe other way around it is cheaper but the masses will always wait for lower interest rate and then buy what as an investor, I have an investor brain. Um, I think it's not the smartest move, but I understand that people are scared. I understand that people are terrified and they simply don't dare. Yeah. So what we often, what I often, not we, <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> um, uh, what I often hear with clients is that I give them hope and education and then they feel confident of moving forward in a market where no one else dares to move forward. And then later, a year, two, three, four years later, I talk again to them and I'm like, was it a good idea? Are you satisfied with your purchase? And they all are. Yeah. So this is my little market update, you guys. We are between 6.4 and 7.1% interest rate depending on your credit score, depending on your debt to income ratio, etc. That could be a little bit uh, up, uh, up, not down, <laughs> up. This is always best case scenario, the numbers that we are getting forwarded every morning. So if you need an agent that is always top on the market, that is not afraid of this market, but like flexes the knuckles, like let's get it. Um, I love this market. While it is choppy and uh, wild, I, I love that it's changing and I love that we are pivoting with whatever the market is doing to us um, next year we are expecting interest rate to come down so that will enhance the market and will heat it up if you want to buy let's start talking right now let's get all your ducks in a row I can help you there is no shame trust me I've seen <laughs> I've seen probably worse situations than yours and give it two three years and they are all buyers
yeah so we can help you be a buyer too i've seen all the scenarios i've seen all the dirty laundry i've seen all the messed up homes i've sold i've sold trashy homes i like luxury but i definitely take pride in selling the little one and the ran down ones as well for top dollar for my clients those are the one you do them for satisfaction you don't do them to keep the light bill on <laughs> or get the light bill paid um we have the big ones for that but i like all of them i like to help the little people because they need a really good agent or the broke people they need a really good agent uh, to stop renting to stop being in the rat race of burning their money in the chimney how i say and then of course i mean who doesn't like a good old luxury listing or something in between like eight nine hundred thousand dollar very sweet price point we had several of those lately uh, they're they're just so easy and so so beautiful and uh, good to sell and you get the pictures back and they're just so pretty so today we put one uh, in from coming soon interactive like those and i hope it will be a very good sale very reasonable seller amazing house top condition beautiful neighborhood amazing school district uh, very close to 99 and 249 all the highways close by and the best HEB in town in my personal opinion if you want to buy or sell let me know my name is a uh, my name is Julia Jordan my number is 832-444-4923 and if you have any questions or your peeps your family your friends have any question send them my way I will always answer everything I will not use pressure to get them under contract if they're not ready let them have their time to get ready but at least they're always educated on where the market is and what is the best for their situation from my professional standpoint just looking on it with neutral eyes that can sometimes be very helpful okay you guys make it a wonderful day happy tuesday feels like a monday but it's already tuesday okay have a good day bye bye